Hey guys, it's me Dolph Fnatic and welcome back to week 2 of season 2 of the Pokemon Premier League. Today we're taking on RTK and I'm not going to pronounce the numbers afterwards because I know I'll get the order wrong because I cannot remember the order because I'm terrible. Um, basically, I'm not expecting much out of this game. I found it really hard to prepare for RTK's team this week. Uh, his team is really spooky. Hopefully I can get a team, I will have a team, I know I said last time I'd have a team builder up because the game was so late anyway. I never bothered doing one. Um, hopefully this time, as today is Wednesday, the 9th of September, I can get a team builder done tomorrow and upload it, and then you'll see us on Saturday or something like that, you know? Um, so yeah, you'll see his team uh, compared to mine at that. Um, there's all, all kinds of scary things on both teams, I think. So that's Xenon. Don't want to battle Xenon. That's Juan. Don't want to battle Juan. Radar. Don't want to battle Radar. RTK6623. There you go. That's the order I needed. So we're going to battle RTK. I can tell you the six Pokemon I have bought are Weavile, Heatran, Salamence, Mega Slowbro, Foratrice, and Heliolisk. So... Pretty much the same as last week, apart from instead of Hitmonchan, I have got a Salamence. If I can get Salamence to plus one, uh, I can pretty much win the game, which is nice. Um, so I'm hoping I can do that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Frost last, which might carry Ice Shard. But we'll see. We'll see soon enough. So, what music to go for this time? Let's go with music four. And let's go with my party Pokemon team. I'm hoping it hasn't got Excadrill, because it will mean I can click... Volt Switch for days. Excadrill doesn't seem like something that can do too much damage. He does have the Excadrill. Latios. Right, I need to write these down. I haven't calced anything like I had last time. And last time when I wrote this down, I, I forgot to write this down. Where is my pen? Where has my pen gone? Let's use this, see if this works. So he bought the Excadrill, which is a huge surprise to me, actually. So we've got Rotom, which doesn't surprise me. Milotic. Which doesn't surprise me. He didn't bring Frostlass, which is good. Hit him on top. Does not surprise me one bit. Sylveon. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, Latios. Doesn't really surprise me. And Excadrill does surprise me. To be honest. So. Let's lead off with Vimto. The Heliodisc. If he leads off with his Excadrill and wants to switch it in, that's fine. I'm surprised, really. If I can get um, Rotom out of the way and Latios out of the way, I feel like Slowbro can do some work here, basically. So enough of this. Oh, I've shut Chrome. I didn't mean to close Chrome. I had my calcs. I had my Pokemon calculator open and everything. Good luck. Have fun, by the way, RTK. Good luck. Have fun, dude. Pokemon Damage Calculator. Now I need to find this one because it has all my sets in it. There's the Rotom Heat. Now the thing here is that he's going to get a slower Volt Switch off. Because I've deliberately outsped this thing with a Scarf. Or is he going to be a Trick Set? I don't know. If he's offensive, I, he might think I'm going to kill him with something. thing is, I don't know if he's going to trick. I, I have a feeling it's going to be an offensive one. I really do. But the question is, oh, he switches out, so he's going to go into Excadrill here, predicting the Volt Switch, which is nice. Or is he? He isn't. He goes into Sylveon, actually, which is interesting. That done a lot of damage. Actually, there. I'm going to go into Potato. I do have speed, actually, which is in which is nice, really nice, by the way. Um, with my sassy nature, I am carrying the Iron Head. Now the question: He's leftovers, okay, which suggests he is bulky. Now is he going to go for Hidden Power Ground? That's the real question. And will it even kill? I'm going to go for Iron Head. I've got a fit mixed attacking Heatran. He withdraws, so I'm going to reveal I have a physical attack on this. The Nustus, the Milotic, does kind of war me. Maybe a teensy weensy bit. So the Iron Head should have realized that was the switch there, really. 
Should have realized there was a switch there. Yeah, see, I don't really have many switches for this, because I do have dry skin on Vimto. Question is, what's he going to do? Is he going to click Scald? Is he going to click Ice Beam? Is he going to click Miracle? There's, he's not going to click Toxic, that's for sure. I reckon he might click Ice Beam. I have got Protect, though, which I might click here and just check and see what he's going to do. There's the Toxic, okay. He stayed in. He'll probably expect me to switch out this time round. I'm not going into Mega Bro if that's what he's wondering. Now, will he have Magic Coat? That's what I'm worried about the most. It really is. So he stays in. Just for the Dragon Tail. There it is. It was always going to happen because obviously Mega Slowbro is a thing. Crit me Spears. There it is. There it is. I'm not letting this thing get poisoned at all. Is he going to click Dragon Tail again? He would if he's smart, I think. Toxic, that's fine. This is free rocks for me. Potentially free rocks. I'm going to stealth rock. He has got a spinner, of course. In his Hitmon chat. Uh, Hitmon top, sorry. So he might go into that. I almost bought Earthquake on this thing for Excadrill. But then I thought to myself, Excadrill can't really do too much. got a message from Frito saying when when will the uh, <laughs> plays of the week be up not plays of the week sorry Pokemon of the week and I said I have a match surely and he said D okay that's fine just don't throw away your win condition this week I'm try I'll try not to man I don't even know what my win condition is Weavile is the one school he schooled okay no burn is nice now I need to keep this thing healthy need to keep this thing healthy. Now, is he going to Toxic this turn? That's what I'm really worrying about now. I always knew Milotic was going to be a pain. I think if he was clever, he would Toxic now. And am I going to predict that in Volt Switch? When I know I need this fortress. That's the question. Is he going to Toxic or is he going to score? I'm going to Volt Switch. Get the slow Volt Switch out here. He withdraws, which is nice. Now, is he going to go into Excadrill or hit him on top? He's going to go into hit him on top. Lovely. There is the Intimidate. Now, I wish I had a Ghost type here. But I don't. We all know what I do have. Now, the question is... Honestly, think I might be able to set up here. He is going to be scared. I think I can freely go for a Dragon Dance here. Fake out, interesting. So maybe he bought an offensive? Wait a minute. He's not got lefties, which is interesting. He's a Salt Vest. And I bought Psychic on my... Uh, I bought Psychic on my thing. He withdraws. I'm going to Dragon Dance here. I'm going to show him that I am Dragon Dance. 
This is the Milotic Toxic Scald Dragon Tail. Will he have the Ice Beam? See, I really need to find this out. And I don't know how much this will even do. Not Slalomance. Uh, Salamence, what is my set called? HP Dragon, of course! Let's go Milotic. You defensive. Oh, it doesn't import my moves for some reason. Dragon Claw. Does. No, that can't be right. You're telling me. Oh, wait, I'm not. That's because it's not plus one. Plus one Dragon Claw is a two hit KO. That depends if he has Ice Beam or not. Do I switch into Vimto or not? That's the thing. Does he have the Ice Beam? I'm going to Dragon Claw. I'm going to do this. I don't think Ments is actually vitally important to me. It would just be a huge threat to have, obviously. Right, that is physically defensive. Dragon Tail! Sweet! Hit me into, um... Hit me into Heliolisk, please. Yes! Lovely. Right. I reckon you're max defense, so Heliolisk. You have got to make the switch here. Now the question is, will Focus Blast kill this thing? Uh, Vinto week two. Focus Blast. Right, I'm going to click Focus Blast. He can't do too much to me in return, actually. That pretty much confirms he doesn't have Ice Beam. Clicking Focus Blast, expecting the Excadrill. He can't score me. If he recovers, that's a fantastic play. I am Choice Scar. This thing is so close to being dead. Once this thing is gone, Mentz can take the game. He switches. Please switch into Excadrill. Aeon. Oh, the play. That's a, that's a very good play. That's a very good play. That done decent damage still, actually. Which is rather spooky. I'm going to go into Potato. He might go for the Surf. If he's physical, I'm going to be so screwed. Travesty actually played a, a uh, warm-up game with me, and it was physical Latios Dragon Dance he bought. There's the Earthquake! That's a good prediction there. I'm so dead. I'm all kinds of dead. Now is he Life Orb? He's Life Orb. Which means... Weavile can come in. I think the hit on top is pretty much an obvious switch, but all I can do now is knock off. He might leave this thing in, expecting a pursuit. He doesn't. I don't have pursuit on this. Boy, I wish I did. Heatran was my answer to that Sylveon of his, which is rather frustrating. See, so he was Assault Vest. Of course. Which means he won't have Toxic. Which means he won't have Toxic. Just write my team down now. He still has everything left. This is my chance. He 
doesn't have toxic. So unless he has some funky move, I can't tell what it is. Uh, what else did I bring? Ments and Heliolisk. I should have I should have bought Psy Shock. I don't know why I didn't. I think it's because I expected physically defensive uh, hit on top. Unless he has made the like best pre-match prediction and bought Toxic on the sole best mon. That's all I can think of. goes into my Lotic. Okay. So there is definitely a Toxic coming. I should have clicked Psychic. It probably would have killed. Now he has two options here. He has to Dragon Tail or he has to Toxic me. And once this Milo Tick's gone... Weavile will have a field day. So I'm going to click Psychic. He might click Dragon Tail here expecting me to switch. And we'll soon find out because Dragon Tail is obviously negative priority. Crit me Spears at plus one special attack. I have no special attack investment. Psychic should do 39 to 46% to max defense. So there's a good chance to kill. Recover, okay. This is how it's going to turn out. I wish I'd gone for another one. That could be specially defensive um, Milotic, to be fair. Here comes the Dragon Tail, so he's opted not to uh, Toxic me, which is fantastic. That Dragon Tail will do nothing. Oh, and this is Weavile. This is Weavile's chance to get some work done here, I think. Now, is there any reason for him to switch out into Hitmontop? There probably is. I'm going to click Knock Off anyway. When he's still got him on top so healthy, he might as well. Knockoff's gonna do nothing. But he might think he might expect me to predict that. I'm carrying the swords dance, and it might be the time soon where I go for the swords dance. I could see I could have done it there. Although Ice Shard won't do much. So I have to be careful with Weavile now because otherwise. I won't be able to do much damage to things. Now, I really, really, really want to go out to... See, I don't know what I want to go out into anymore. Fortress takes on extra drill really nice, but so does Mega Slowbro. Now, I'm expecting him to make a double back into Milo Tick or something here. There's a close combat. Ouch. I wonder if he's going to stay and expect me to put up rocks again. I'm going to click Volt Switch. Because honestly, um, Extra Drill isn't a favorable matchup for him here. This is going okay. I feel like we're on the front foot at the moment. However, if he switches into Excadrill, we could be in a bit of a problem. And if he Swords Dance, even more so. However, I feel like it would be his Scarfed Mon, because nothing else is Scarfed on his team. He goes into my Low Tick, lovely jubbly. 
I doubt this will kill. But still. So I now know I can go for Focus Blast. He'll probably go into Sylveon, actually. The really, really risky thing here for me is if he goes into Extra Drill. So I don't want him setting up any rock. Uh, I mean, I can switch into uh, Mega Slowbro pretty safe. And Scald will scare him out. If I click Focus Blast, he knows I have it, so he might not do it. I'm going to click Bolt Switch. If I had rocks, this Minotic might have been dead. He does withdraw. Do not go into your goddamn Wake and Bake. Okay, that's fine. You don't look too defensive to me there, mate. However, I've lost Heatran now, which is a uh, big nuisance. So I'm now going to pull the double out into Vimto, expecting a Volt Switch. Oh man, I really wish I could. I really hope I can get Rocks up again. If I can get Rocks up, this Rotom is going to die. Losing Heatran to that Pro Prediction was damn good as well. We'll be able to see if he's scarfed or not as well here. Or if he's defensive. So he knows I'm a life orb. His team is slowly getting worn down and this makes me happy. If my low tick goes, all I have to do is sacrifice something to that hitmon top and I can win. all I need. So if he stays in, if he goes to overheat, that's a fantastic play. Thunderbolt. Okay, so there's the prediction. Now the question is, is he going to stay in and Thunderbolt again? Do I click Dark Pulse? Is he going to switch into Latios? Probably not when he has Hitmon top and Sylveon around. Let's click Focus Blast. He is choiced in some way. Icaros. He does go... Oh, he goes into Sylveon. Okay, fair enough. It misses. Of course it misses. Now this thing, this thing is scary. If he sets up any Calm Minds here, that's game. Should have clicked Volt Switch. Could have kept the pressure on. He clicks Hyper Voice, okay. Doesn't kill. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have switched this thing in. The only problem now Heatran is dead. Is that defensive, Milo? Uh, like, specially defensive or something? He's thinking about this. I don't know if he expects it to be a roll or something. Yeah, he used Hyper Voice again. Now, how much does this do to a Mega Slowbro? Still does over 50%. Oh my god.
I just have to hope this Iron Tail hits. That's all I can hope for. And then Weavile will have to come in and Poison Jab. Which will do a lot. He'll know I have it. He must from the way I brought this thing in. I've been put in a really sticky situation since he made that prediction. If I miss Iron Tail, it's game over. gonna make me do this. I'm about to get 6 owed. I, I, sh I shouldn't go with this mindset, but that's just annoying. It's got 75% chance to hit. He withdraws. And again, I don't click Psychic. Question is... I'm gonna click Calm Mind, because if he Dragon Tails me here, he doesn't, right. So if he Dragon Tails me here, I can easily revenge kill something. Mega Bro. Oh man, I wish I had special attack investment instead of defense. I'm now at plus two. Let's go for the Psychic. Now, is he going to toxic me or not? I'm going to get a crit or something. Not a crit at all, but Dragon Tail, there it is. There's the Weavile. Is this where I make the move? Let's click Swords Dance. I have to do it. Yes, come on! Although he'll have Mac Punch. Why did I not think of this? Kind of wish I hadn't revealed that yet. Do switch out, of course. There's the Mag Punch. It was obviously going to be there. Let's click Psychic. If I can get this thing gone, that would be fantastic. Thing is, if I can get a Calm Mind against Sylveon, I cannot be hit by a crit. I expect his Latios is mixed. If he didn't bring Thunderbolt on it, I'd question it a bit. I'm just so frustrated that Iron Tail missed, man.
If I knew he was so scared of this Mega Slowbro, I would have brought this in in the first place. Wake and bake. He's not going to appreciate this. Not even slightly. Uh, question is now, what are you going to do? If you click overheat, I get a free turn to set up another Calm Mind. Few Thunderbolt. There's the Volt Switch. Now, depending on what he goes into, if he goes into Sylveon, I'm going to have to sack this thing off. I'm expecting that he will go into Sylveon. There it is. How is he going to set up Calm Minds? If he sets up Calm Minds, that's the game. I expect that he might. Doesn't. So if you're specially defensive Sylveon... Honestly, for this is going a lot better than it's turned out to be. Honestly, think this is the best thing to go up against it. Have to click Calm Mind. Have to. I just want one kit. His his Latias is at half. His Hitmon Top is at half. His Rotom is so severely weakened. Extra Drill is untouched. This thing is relatively healthy. Milo Tick is practically dead. You know, it's just so close. Okay, this thing is mixed. Question is, what can you do? Question is also, what can I do to you? Obviously expecting me to Psychic there, and if this is a fully defensive, uh, fully offensive Latios, he might be in a bit of trouble now. Shadow Ball. Oh, of course he gets it. Gets the drop. Will he expect me to switch into Weavile? Probably. I'm going to do it anyway. That's a Shadow Ball. Should be able to take this. Yeah, we took it really well, actually. Now he knows I have the Swords Dance. Let's click Poison Jab. I expect it might kill from this range. If he goes into Sylveon, it's game on. But he doesn't. He goes straight into this. Now, is he going to expect me to go out into Mega Slowbro? I'm going to click Swords Dance. No, he doesn't. He doesn't expect me to do it, which is fine. 
Oh, I'm gonna get six would so hard right now. Now is the time to set up on him, really. But he will go into his um, thing and try and toxic me, I imagine. If I had rocks up right now, I'd be so goddamn happy. But this game has just gone to shit. I said at the start I wasn't too confident about this. Good news is he has used up more um, more hyper voices than I have slack offs. If it comes down to that, does he make the switch? In, he probably makes the switch into Latios, Icarus. Do I get the special defense drop? No, nope, of course not. Of course I don't get the special defense drop. What sort of luck would that be? Wish. He's wishing, he's wish stalling me, which means I can get some calm minds going now. This makes me very happy. He's making the switch out into something. Probably Latios here. He might try my Lotic because he wants to get that Toxic off. Honestly, I'd let something die of his if I had to. I'm saying that so I don't get 6 would <laughs> Yeah, there it is. That was, that was the best play he could have made. You bastard! You bastard. Right, no special defense drops, please. Oh god, I think that it might actually just be a 2 hit KO from here. I should have just clicked slack off. I have been 6 0'd by a very well played RTK. Thing is, this game is like, it's it's gone on for 35 minutes. Oh! Oh, why did he go for style? Why did he go for style? Why did he just do that? Why did he just do that? Oh, RTK, you silly boy. You silly, silly boy. No special defense drops. If he'd gone for Shadow Ball, he would have killed me. He must have thought that Stab Draco would have done more. He cannot crit me. He cannot crit me here. Has he just thrown away the game? <sighs> that hyper voice won't be doing much at all now. That miss is vital, absolutely vital. The longer he stays in with Latios, the happier it makes me. He's got to go for the special defense drops. Which he didn't get. If he wants to kill himself off with Life Orb Recoil, that's fine by me. Like I said, he cannot critical hit me. I'm so glad I didn't put rest on this in the end.
Right, how much... I don't know how much damage that done. I don't know if I could click um, Calm Mind again here. But at plus three, I honestly think I'm set to go. I honestly think he's trying to sack this thing off. I don't want to play this way, you know, but... If it's going to be this way... I can now go for another car mine safely. Oh, he misses Draco again. That is perfect. Now plus four, so I can get to plus five for three. Still done so much damage at plus five. And slack off to see out the death of this thing here. He's going to toxic me, yes, but I'm at plus five now, so I can pretty much kill anything I want to kill. He obviously can't trick me. There's the special defense drop. I'm only at plus four now. Oh, he, he lived. Not bad at all. He lived. That gives me another turn to slack off, basically. Or do I calm mind? What can he actually do to me? No, I have to slack off. I have to be at the highest amount of health possible here. That was, oh man, this is a big old choke on his behalf. He's got to go into Minotic and click Toxic, but the question is, can he stall me out long enough? If he misses Toxic, that'd be brilliant. He hits the Toxic, which is fine. He's going to try and fake out stall me here. <laughs> this is going to be a lot closer than it should have been. A lot closer. So Latios is dead. Milotic is dead. At least I can only now be joint bottom. Mega Slowbro's first kill of the season! Icaros. Not sure if I agree with that, my friend. Unless you have Protect, of course. Let's go for Psychic. Wish Protect, Hyper Voice. There's the Protect. I still have Slack Offs, and I'm pretty sure Toxic Caps. I, you know what, if I lose this game now, I'm not going to be too upset. Could you imagine Mega Slowbro with Cosmic Power? Rest Cosmic Power would be unbreakable. <laughs> now he's got it. He's got to go for the Double Protect, I imagine, here. There's the Wish. Is this psychic going to be enough to kill? Probably. Yes, okay, so it's free. Free left. I think the toxic's going to save him. I have to click. He's put he's played that very well. He's put pressure on me now. So you click scald. Toxic's going to kill me off, but hey, it's only a 2-0 now instead of a 4-0. Sylveon's gone. Rotom's gone.
Hitmontop can come in for the fake out. I, you know what? I feel like I played a lot better from last week. Just that RTK outplayed me completely. Um, and I was lucky that this wasn't a 6-0. But I'll take a 2-0 at this stage. Good game, RTK. Good game. I knew the Toxic was coming. If I was rest, instead of slack off, you know. <laughs> RTK wants to call me. I'll say two secs, because uh, now wrapping up. He should have 6 0 me there quite easily, but he ch he choked that massively. I have to say, RT hey, uh, RTK, well played, man. I didn't expect um, Assault Vest. Uh, what's its face? There at all. But yeah, go check out RTK. He is a fantastic channel. Fantastic GFX. Uh, massively undersubscribed. Is a really good player. He's now 2 and 2 in the PPL this season. Unlike me, I'm 2 and 0. Oh. But a 1 0 loss and a 2 0 loss is better than what happened last season. Next week, I'm up against Shardy. Um, you'll see my team analysis video and stuff. So make sure you check out all the links and stuff below in you know, PPL, RTK, and whatnot. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.